morning man you gotta check out this view it's pretty beautiful so I'm certainly happy that this waterfall doesn't seem as touristy and there's really nobody here I think it's because it's such a bit of a pain to get to coming to the north of the island that a lot of people don't come here but look just endlessly greeted with these viewpoints Woo! stunning absolutely stunning Well, that was absolutely stunning. I'm so lucky to have got here before everybody else got here. Now it's pretty crowded, and uh, I think that we're gonna go check out the next one. Apparently, this isn't even the main waterfall. And uh, looks like we got a rush because we got people hot on our tail. Let's go. Wow. Gents, we didn't do a very good job at avoiding all of the crowds. This is what it looks like here at this very secluded spot. I think word got out that this is one of the most beautiful waterfalls. Maybe you can hide in a little area where there is no one to pretend that we have our own oasis. So it is actually properly raining now. That is what it takes. People like waterfalls. People like waterfalls, but they don't like when water falls from the sky. And that is how you get a waterfall on your own in Bali. Woohoo! Alright, unfortunately it's not all of it, but I don't have a bag. One of the cool things about this waterfall 
is you gotta drive through this little village and you see all the local kids running around and all the families here. It's like such a small little interesting village. They have a beautiful backdrop. If you can look beyond the wall. One of the things that I think is most special about traveling is getting to interact with people that you wouldn't normally get a chance to meet. My friends have invited me mm. to join them for this lovely meal mm. and a few beers. It's tradition here to all sit round and share the food and eat with your hand. I felt really grateful to have the opportunity to meet these guys and learn a little bit more about their culture. Okay, so it's a uh, Balinese or Indonesian tradition to drink. Balinese. Balinese. Balinese tradition to drink yeah. from one glass and you pass it around. Yeah, pass it around. You drink, you drink your drink yeah. and then you pass it to the next yeah. person and you pass it to the next yeah. person. Yeah. So everybody takes their turn at drinking. Yeah. Everybody drinks together. Yeah. No one person drinks more than the other person. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all about sharing. Yeah. And uh, this is what I, uh, these guys have invited me in to do as well. Yeah. So that's what we're doing here. We just had some food <laughs> and now we're sharing stories. Conversation. And conversation. Mm -hmm. Share with local. What did yeah. you say we don't get it? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's the joker of the crew. Feels too much joking. joking. <laughs> well guys, well that was an awesome little evening sharing beers and food with new friends and learning a little bit about this community. It seems like the whole area thrives and gets life from this waterfall that I visited and I had no idea. I was kind of a little bit complaining because I thought, well this waterfall, what, what's the deal with it? Why do we have to pay for a natural waterfall? But they make money off of it by being guides and by running restaurants and running B&Bs. And it's actually pretty amazing to see this thing create such a opportunity for a community here. So I would definitely recommend if you're gonna to come to this area to go check out the waterfall and to hire a tour guide. Anyway, one of my friends that I met at the waterfall that was also joining us for a drink promised to link me up with the guys that make homemade Balinese liquor. So we're gonna wake up nice and early tomorrow at 7 a.m. I don't know uh, what the process involves, some sort of distillation, but we're gonna go and find out. So for now, I'm gonna to go to bed and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>